All right, guys. So, like in all my videos, you always want to cut this paint line around any existing backsplash. If not, when you peel the backsplash off, it'll peel the paint up, and then you know, the customer don't want to have to repaint their whole room. So, you want to make sure you cut that line so you have a nice, clean, finished job. Alright guys, so you can kind of see what the laser tells me. We're on top of the cabinet over there, and then as you can see, the cabinets drop off here. So we're going to add some wood to it to help support it before we bring the top in, especially under this sink section here. And then I think we'll shim it up the rest of the way. Alright, so you guys know I don't like the seam tops unless I absolutely have to. I looked at the photos of this job when Melissa uh, brought it back to the shop. And through the photos, I figured that I could get this top done in one piece. Because, you know, it just looks better. The customer prefers it that way. It's just, I think it's the way it's supposed to be. Just try to not seam it. And, uh... So we went ahead and moved the stove over there and we're, the, the, the refrigerator's got wheels on it, but the feet are lowered down. So I think Tony's lowering the feet so that the wheels touch so we don't scratch the floor. We don't like to move refrigerators unless we absolutely have to, um, but in this case we have to. I think the only way we're gonna be able to get this in is right here in this door hole is to uh, lay this thing down flat on our no lift cart maybe and kind of work it in there this right here is going to kind of be our nemesis um there's always a high low option but it's fantasy brown and it's just scary you, you guys know so uh so we're going to give ourselves every opportunity we can to get it in here safely in one piece of course we'll be putting our bars across it and all that so uh, you, uh, we'll do what we can do um, so guys, we brought it in and uh, we went in that doorway there and come around because we had to get by that piece of trim there on the door. And we got this trim here. So you guys know on the no lift system, you got to raise up a little bit before you can start tilting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up to get over the bump out so we can start tilting. And then we're going to go a little bit at a time. We're going to tilt and go forward, tilt and go forward because we got to get under this window sill and past that door trim. So we're just going to take our time. It's it's very tight. We're going to try to not damage the walls. If you also notice, there's outlet switches or plugs, whatever, receptacles. So we're going to try to avoid them as well. So uh, I've got the customer here feeling for, so we're just going to take our time and do the best we can to get it in safely and not damage anything. Also, while we're videoing here, as you can see, we put the carbon fiber rods in there top and bottom to give the sink extra support and then you'll notice we also have our aluminum bars with the suction cups to give the sink extra support as well you know how i always do it we take every precaution to keep the stuff safe you ready yep a little bit okay let's go forward a little bit gently push this in once we get over top of the cat hold on I'll go up where you told okay. me good 
once we get both sides over the cabinet, we'll come down to where we're level again. Good. How are we looking? Are we touching over there? Yes. All right, now we're just going to gently work this top back. You need to catch up with me. Go ahead. Come back. Make sure you're not touching the cabinet when you lower your cart because it'll scratch it. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and push it back in place here. And uh, and the first thing we do now is uh, check for shims. I need to grab them. And we need uh, quite a few. So. So we're going to. We got a bunch of shims we got to put in, and I think. Tony, need to get you need to go up. back. Yeah. Yes, I think we may need to cut this corner here so we can go back a little bit because of the bows in the wall. So now what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pause you again, and we're going to get this sink run set up to where it's perfect. And uh, sorry, no, I'm good. And uh, I'll show you, you know, once we get it in place, how it looks and all that. All right, guys, we got everything finished up here. think everything turned out good uh, we used a trans white 100% uh, silicone on the backsplash and of course to pull the sink up and then paintable caulk along the walls and uh, along the wood on the window there um, the customer was actually in here helping sweep and clean up the, the sinkhole and all that uh, so uh, you know, everything turned out really good in the end. What started off like a disaster install, me arguing with a customer, which is actually the first time in the world that's happened. Uh, we actually both apologized to each other. And it turned out to be a good install, and uh, we actually, I actually enjoyed working with her. It was an enjoyable experience, so uh, things can change if you just uh, cool down for a second, I guess. Um, so put all the appliances back in place and uh that's about it guys i appreciate y'all watching and i will see you on the next one